You know what they say, the creme always rises to the top. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Ben De La Creme moments on RuPaul's Drag Race. Hi everybody, it's me, Ben De La Creme. <laughs> We're taking a look at Bendela's most iconic moments on her multiple runs on RuPaul's Drag Race. As we will be going over multiple seasons, a spoiler alert is in order. Let's get to the list. Number 10, Miss Congeniality. Rising to the top, it's Bendela Krem. Bendela Krem had succeeded early on in season six and established a solid rapport as a funny queen. So when she was eliminated by Darian Lake, it rubbed many fans the wrong way. Darian Lake, Shantae, you stay. You may join the other girls. The backlash had even resulted in petitions to return Creme to the show. With such a huge community behind her, Bendela satisfyingly won the viewer decided Miss Congeniality title. The winner? of season six Miss Congeniality and a $2,500 gift card from Overstock.com is Ben De La Creme. Her nod to fans who loved her drag was an especially heartwarming addition to the acceptance speech. Though it didn't hurt that she'd given a gift to Daria in that episode to show that there were no hard feelings. You uh, once said that I was uh, like a Russian doll until so here's her ah! very own De La Russian doll. Since Ben wore her victory dress on All Stars, the title clearly meant a lot to her. Number nine, Harry Runway. For an All Stars runway set to feature multiple wigs, each queen had to get creative with their reveals. So as Bendela walked out with a truly large do, she mixed a vintage look with hints of Michelle Visage. Oh, Hi. Michelle Visage. <laughs> <laughs> and the judges didn't miss this detail either. Her three foot wig reveal was wonderfully unexpected, especially under her already massive locks. What's a better way to reveal a wig under a wig than to reveal a wig that's three feet under the wig on my head? Plus her second skirt doubled as another set of wigs. Mendela Krem was one of the few queens to incorporate hair into her wardrobe as well. Along with the colorful commentary it spawned from the judges, this extended wig reveal was a knockout that earned her an early win. Kennedy Davenport. Ben De La Creme, you are the top two all-stars of the week. Number eight, The Cougar. A Bachelor parody challenge saw Bendela embody a saucy old cougar and add her own spin to it. Who's a big boy? You're a big boy. And I'm here to land me a boy man. Her antics had Michelle Visage laughing from the get-go since she hysterically exposed herself while leaving the limo. Ben would also cleverly use her drink to earn laughs between lines and added a whole goofy stumble to her persona. It was all her handsy grabbing and body shaking towards Jeffrey Bowyer Chapman that transfixed viewers over Bibi Zahara Benet. Though Bendela's motherly comments instilled a gross out factor that made the character comically off-putting too. This is perfect for a widow baby, why ew. <laughs> this endless stream of character quirks showed how well Bendela could outshine her competitors without ever stepping on their lines. Are you looking for a woman that's clean or are you looking for a woman that's dirty? <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Rainbow Runway. Bendela Creme, serving golden girls. With just a box of the Golden Girls themed fabric, Bendela Creme had to craft an entirely original look. The result was a stunning blend of rainbow fabric topped with extravagant neck and head pieces. Her look was glam but also funny, and Bendela brought out a cheesecake just to ham it up further. Cheesecake? Mm, eat it! She also kept the judges equally amazed and entertained when she implied how maniacally the outfit came together. Bendela Krem's colorful melange led to a win as well, since it was one of the only frocks to commit to a full concept. Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. Yay, man. Thank you so much. Amongst her many unique looks on Drag Race, this Golden Girls look set off her run on the show with style. Number six, Julie Andrews dance. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Andrews. Hello, Ru, it's Julie Andrews. A full-blown all-star lip-sync competition had Bendela performing RuPaul's Call Me Mother. The challenge was that she also had to impersonate Julie Andrews from the sound of music between all the dancing. 
Bendela absolutely nailed all the lightning fast wordplay and laughably kept some of her choreography conservative to match Andrew's elegance. This allowed her twerking and bombastic moves to feel more comedic by comparison. Though her singing in Shade the Rusical was a wonderful show of talent, the diva's lip sync blended her comedy and character more excitingly. Besides, Bendela Krem deserved credit simply for getting the often critical Todrick Hall to cheer for her dancing. Microphone drop. Good day. <laughs> Number 5. Bianca Puppet Hi there, Bianca. How are you doing today? Bendela Krem was given Bianca Del Rio for a puppet competition. So, of course, she gave it messed up teeth. Her loud and gravelly voice for Bianca really had us in hysterics and added a humorous tone to everything she said. Now, Bianca, your dress looks gorgeous today. Well, thank goodness, because I have 50 of the same dress in different fabrics. <laughs> her angry shouts about Del Rio's repetitive wardrobe had Bianca laughing at her own faults. And there were plenty of good jokes about Bianca's narcissistic attitude. Bendela hilariously made fun of herself as well, just to mock Del Rio's constant insults. By dialing this caricature up to 11, Bendela Krem even brought giggles out of Bianca's catchphrases. Looks like your lace front is coming off. Baloney! I have no problems! I live in New York! I work all the time! <laughs> Number 4. Eliminating Herself Bendela Krem. You're a winner, baby. On All Stars, Bendela won handfuls of challenges and secured one of the strongest runs on any drag race season. And her lip sync win against Bibi Zahara Benet left everyone wondering if Shangela, Trixie Mattel, or Kennedy Davenport would go home. So Jaws were on the floor when she shockingly revealed a custom lipstick to send herself home instead. This is the easiest choice that I have had to make this entire season. I'm going home. The self-destructive choice was unexpected and particularly disheartening considering how well Bendela had done on the season. After her previous controversial elimination, this decision left fans upset again. This said, it was great to see Bendela go out on her own terms for once. I feel so good. I feel like I'm going home winning. Number 3. Bug Runway an animal-themed outfit request had queens embody birds, cats, and, in Bendela's case, insects. Oh. Waiter, there's a fly on my runway! <laughs> her crawling fly illusion was creepy and impressive, while her commitment to the postures really enhanced the look. By the time the oohs and ahs from the judges had settled, Bendela had made the impressive transformation into her full dress. Her use of purple and black was a nice combination, and the fact that her skirt doubled for leg bends showed she had artistic vision. She's got some fly choreography. Yeah, she's a fly girl. Mm -hmm. Bendela Krem was also the only person to attempt an illusion, let alone two complete looks in one. I thought her costume was incredible. She evidently had studied flies walking across the floor because <laughs> she did it perfect. Yeah. So though she didn't win, Ben took this concept to a much more creative end than anyone else in the competition. Number 2. Anaconda Lip Sync The time has come. She lip sync for your in the first episode, Ben was facing off with Aja in a lip sync for your legacy set to Anaconda. Though she had fun outfit props in her talent show, this head to head would demand more of her abilities. Aja was pointing and kicking out furiously, which made for some exciting and technically impressive dancing. Bendela, on the other hand, was accentuating all of Nicki Minaj's sass in her movements and pouty lips. This comedic approach to the song played to the production hilariously and had the judges hollering through her interpretations of samples. Baby, it's anyone's game here. When she choked her way through Nikki's raspy laugh, it was enough to have the viewers and RuPaul in stitches. Can you guess what our number one Bendela Creme moment on RuPaul, I mean RuPaul's Drag Race is? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Whatever you do, don't look inside this big pink furry box. Mm. Open wide and get a taste of Creme de la Creme's all-purpose soup. An award-winning recipe of talent, desperation, and dumb luck. <laughs> and BB, I hear that this is the year that you might get two crowns which is really not a lot of dental work as far as those early seasons are concerned. <laughs> Dear Diary, last night I was at the Vatican and I ran into the Taco Bell Chihuahua. He tossed me into his limo and dragged me to baby Jessica's party at the bottom of a well. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Maggie Smith Snatch Game RuPaul was skeptical about Maggie Smith in a snatch game, but Ben de la Creme insisted it could work. Well, you've got a lot of competition. They're very talented girls here. Her version of Smith's sassy Downton Abbey character as a person out of touch with modern life allowed for constant period humor. Ben hysterically played oblivious to technology, and her innocence to partying was even funnier. I understood uh, virtually none of the words that left your lips moments ago, but uh, I did hear the term Twitter, and I assume that it's some sort of a songbird. Her old-timey comebacks to digs at her accent showed how well she could improv, and she kept it going when other queens slipped up. How can you get people to that speak normal English next time for the show? Excuse me, we originated the language. <laughs> oh, okay. Bendela never missed on her answers, and was entertaining just moving her head around. Next to her other comedic performances, Maggie Smith has endured as her best work to date. On RuPaul's Drag Race, Sylvie, Sylvie, <laughs> what word is that? Okay. That performance will definitely go down as like the best one in RuPaul's Drag Race history. But what do you guys think? What's your favorite moment? Let us know in the comments below or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.